In the previous video, we learned all about project management. This included opening a project, closing it, saving, archiving, and retrieving. In this video, we're going to focus on the most commonly used editors in TIA Portal. This will be a four-part video, with the first one focused on the network editor. We'll also talk about the device editor, the PLC code editor, and the HMI screen editor. So for this part, let's focus on the network editor, also known as the network view. To access it, find devices and networks located in your project tree and double click. This brings up the network view. What the network view is, is it gives us all of the devices in our project and shows them what network they reside on. Each of these icons represents an individual device and the lines connecting them represent the network. For instance, these green lines are our PROFINET network, and the name of that network is represented here in the middle. Each of these icons consists of a pictorial representation of that device. On the left, we get the device type, and above that, we get the device name. Each of these devices have these little squares on them. A green square represents a PROFINET network interface, and a purple square represents a Profi bus network interface. For example, the 1516F has three squares under it. The square on the left represents a Ethernet interface that is meant to talk to a higher level system, such as a SCADA system. This will have its own IP address. The square in the middle represents the two port Profinet switch at the center of the device. This is meant to communicate at the machine level to all of its sub-devices. This also has its own unique IP address from the first interface. Finally, on the right, we have our Profibus port. If you want to view the addresses for all the network interfaces on all the devices, you can do so by clicking on this icon with the eyeball on it. That will populate the network view with all the IP addresses or Profibus addresses for all your devices in the entire network. Changing the IP address of a device in TIA Portal is fairly straightforward. All you need to do is click on the green square for a device you want to change and come down in the inspector window to IP protocol and change the address. Now it's important that that IP address is unique and also matches the subnet of all your other devices. Typically, the subnet will consist of the first three octets of an IP address, and notice that those first three will be the same for all devices, and the last octet will be unique. Along with setting up IP addresses for our devices, we can also establish master and slave relationships between our devices. For instance, you may have noticed that some of these devices have these blue hyperlinks in the bottom left-hand corner, and some don't. The ones that do indicate that it is a slave device, and if you click on that hyperlink, it will highlight its master. Over here on the right is my hardware catalog task card. I can use this to add in any device into my project. For instance, if I wanted to add another rack of remote I.O., I can do so by going to distributed I.O., ET200SP, and finding my Profinet interface module. When I single click on the part number, uh, it displays here at the bottom a pictorial representation of what it is, its description, and it gives me the option to select a firmware version. I can click on that part number and drag it over to my network view. To assign this to a PLC, I can click and hold from its port and drag to the port of the PLC that I want to control it. Now it has been established that this device will be controlled by that PLC. By doing that, it also ensures that the IP address will be on the same subnet and it will be unique. If your network view is getting a little too cluttered like mine is starting to be, you can click here in the bottom right hand corner of the network view and quickly access a different part of your network. To view my HMI connections, I can do that by clicking on the Connections button here at the top and selecting HMI Connection in the drop-down. All the devices that are engaged in some sort of HMI communication are highlighted in blue. I can right-click on an HMI and say View All Connection Partners, 
and it will provide additional highlighting over the devices that are directly talking to that HMI. So that about wraps it up for the network view. In a later video, we're going to show what this looks like when you go online with these processors so we can get back the status of our network. In the next part, we're going to go over the device view.